I welcome you to uh, our sheet mulching at the Garden Education Center at the San Mateo Event Center. And uh, we should have a full day. We have a pile of mulch to move. Our, our uh, yeah, this scooter. And we have a large area to cover, as you can see. We, we will not be covering certain marked off areas that will be the future greenhouses. But sheet mulching uh, is a great way to kill grass, weeds, or any other invasive uh, plant that's growing in the yard, and you don't want to get down on your hands and knees to pull them out or use a weeder or a pull hole or whatever. And I've done it twice, front and backyards, and it's amazing the results you get. Uh, there's a number of ways to do it. Uh, we can go down to Costco and get boxes and break boxes down. If you have a small area, that's what I did. I had 500 square feet in the front and 800 square feet in the back. I just got a bunch of boxes. With a large area like this, we got rolls of cardboard. It's just one ply cardboard, and we'll use that as the underlayment. And basically what you want to do is cover the entire area as you can see, Joe is watering it down. That's the first thing you want to do. Because what are the four main elements of composting? Come on, Master Gardeners. Water, oxygen, a carbon, which is what? Brown material, and nitrogen, which is green material. Well, guess what? We got a ton of green material, and we have the brown material for the carbon, so what we'll be doing is laying this over the grass. I would suggest we put a double roll down. We have lots of cardboard. So we don't have to worry about running out, I don't think. I hope. Because we're not going to cover. I talked to Paul earlier, who's our master builder. And we'll be putting in the greenhouse foundations. We're not going to be covering those areas. So we're going to just uh, we'll go around uh, where he's working. and. Uh, there's a little bit of cutting we'll have to do. So basically what you want to do is, is cover everything. You want to double, um, you want to overlap each of the uh, rows. We'll probably overlap it by six to eight inches, so we'll lay this down. And what we'll do is we'll roll it out. The length of the, uh, so much easier than having cardboard boxes. Um, if you do use cardboard boxes and you go to Costco, make sure you get boxes that are not waxed. For example, vegetable boxes, because those will not break down. Uh, I learned that the hard way the first time. Uh, I suspected that when I started, and when I went back six months later, after a very wet winter, uh, one of the few wet winters we've had, uh, the cardboard was still there. So the water you know, didn't permeate you know, through and uh, break the, the, the cardboard down. Everything else is wonderfully composted. Uh, I now have a wonderful worm farm in both front and backyards because of the, of the sheet mulching I do. But what we'll do is we'll roll this out. As you can see, Joe is watering. And we'll roll this over. That's going to be the first step. And what we're doing is basically removing the sunlight from hitting the grass. Because we know what makes things grow, right? Photosy photosynthesis. And Without the, the sun, uh, it'll just die on its own. In fact, you can see we, we have an experiment going here where this area was just put down with mulch uh, and no sheet mulching. Mm. And I pulled back some of the mulch so we could overlay it a little bit, and the grass is already dying. So it looks like that process is working. Notice uh, this area here had been just like this uh, before we put the mulch down. So it does work. Uh, we'll see what happens in a few months um, as you know, it gets warmer, because you know, grass does go into a, a more or less a, a, a hiatus for a, a short period of time. And as you can see here, this is very lush grass. If we had had time, the ideal thing would have been to cut this down a little bit, and then roll, and then wet it, and then roll the, the cardboard over. So um, what we're going to do now is just we'll roll out a length here and 
I brought some garden staples. You can get these at uh, your local garden supply. I go to Horizon in Bohannon Park. You get a package of a hundred for seven bucks. Probably one of the best investments I ever made rather than cutting coat hangers down. <laughs> My wife got tired of uh, having to go out and buy wire coat hangers. So <clears throat> what we'll do is we'll put a staple at, one, at each end, roll it out, and then we'll get the next roll and we'll start about right here. There's a, actually a line here, about six to eight inches, that's the foot. So we'll, we'll overlap it because you don't want any light to get in between the cardboard, otherwise the grass will grow. And we don't want that to happen, right? We want to get rid of it. The, uh, <clears throat> one of the things we won't be doing here is, is replanting. So if, if you were to be looking at uh, sheet mulching and you wanted to plant the, a vegetable garden or trees or the like, I would strongly recommend, rather than just using mulch, that you put a layer of compost on top of the, uh, the cardboard and then on top of that put a light le le level of mulch. Um, the compost will help the cardboard break down uh, just part of the, again, the, the normal uh, composting process where it, it, everything will break down over time. And again, the four elements will have the four elements, oxygen, water, carbon, and nitrogen. And that's it. Any questions? Yes, Anne. After you lay down the cardboard, you wet that too, right? Oh, I'm sorry, yes. Thank you. You'll, we'll, we'll lay the cardboard out and then you'll wet the cardboard. Not soaking wet, just uh, you know, dampen it down a little bit. Again, that's the water element of the four, uh, four elements to composting. Um, Joe is still watering. This is probably a nice soggy area here now. But that's good. And uh, so we'll just roll over that. What we'll do is we'll break into teams. And uh, yeah, yeah. One more thing, if you're doing this at home, I think it's suggested that you uh, pull away the grass uh, uh, yes. and the dirt so about three inches down. Fence, you'll notice that there is a, a space here between the grass and the fence. And if you're at home, what you want to do is you have a sidewalk, you'll want to peel back the grass or even, even uh, maybe put a small, you know, maybe three or four inch trench along the sidewalk so that your mulch slash compost doesn't spill onto the sidewalk as you're putting uh, putting down the, uh, the material on top of the cardboard. And that way it kind of divots down and you'll have a thicker thicker base along the, the sidewalk. What we'll do here is uh, overlap. There's a, there's a piece of wood down here. Uh, a, a wood runner. Uh, we'll just uh, go right behind the wood runner and then uh, it's okay if we have the mulch spill over onto the fence, as we did down here. You can see the mulch is, is spilling over. You can see what happens if you don't get good cover. Some of the grass is already growing through. <laughs> That's what happens when you run your hand over uh, wood. You get a splinter. So anyway, I think we're ready to go. Thank you very much. I uh, hope you enjoyed the video. hope you uh, learned something. And uh, next time, we hope to see you out here so you can actually help.